welcome to our home. It's Lunar New Year and my family's really excited to share some of our traditions with you. My name is Jen and before I get started, I also have two very special visitors with me. Hi guys. Happy New Year. Go hey fa choy. So these little dragons here are Ethan and Madison. Gung hei fa choy. is how we say Happy New Year in Cantonese. So uh, my dad is from China and my mom is from Hong Kong and I was born here in the United States and so were Madison and Ethan. And we have a number of traditions that were passed down from our ancestors as well as new things that we've discovered as a family. So what we wanted to do was just share with you how we like to celebrate New Year's. So the first thing we were going to do was show you a few of the crafts that our family loves to do. This is one of the our kids' favorite things. So what did you guys do here? We made paper lanterns. Paper lanterns. So there is a video on the Michener website as well on how to make these paper lanterns yourself. And what else do you have here? What are these? Firecrackers. Firecrackers. Yeah. So part of the fun of Lunar New Year is making lots of noise. And what that does is drive out the bad luck. So the dragon dances, the lion dances, um, the bright colors, the firecrackers, all of that is to draw out the bad luck um, and usher in the good luck for the year. The holiday lasts 15 days and um, day 15 is the culmination of the Lantern Festival. We also wear traditional clothing. So Madison here is wearing what's called a changsang or jipao in Mandarin. And you can see that her dress has some of the traditional lucky colors, red and gold. So the holiday is all about wealth, prosperity, health, um, and good luck for the new year. We also do uh, a lot of really special foods. Everything means something. So last night was New Year's Eve and what we do is celebrate as an immediate family. So the people in your household get together and eat um, a special meal. So we had steamed fish. We also had whole steamed chicken with lots of ginger and scallion. And this is supposed to signify abundance and wealth. We also had dumplings. So these are one tons. Um, my dad taught me how to make these. They are stuffed with pork and mushroom. And when you first form them, they actually look like the ancestral ingot, which is the gold that they used to use, uh, that ancestors used for money. We also have here, what are these guys? These are long noodles. And what do the long um, noodles mean? Long, long life. life. Long life, yes. And then we have um, tofu and snow peas uh, stir fried on top. And then snow peas. snow peas, nice and crunchy. And then our favorite part of the meal, what do we like? Sweets. Mm -hmm. Who likes sweets? Raise your hand mm -hmm. who likes sweets. Me too. So here are just a couple of things we like to do. And we actually like to try things new every year. Um, they're very creative, so it's just fun to try some new recipes. So these are sesame balls, or called jin doi, and they are filled with a red bean paste. And instead of your traditional all-purpose flour, they're actually deep fried and they are sticky, glutinous rice flour. And then they're covered in sesame seeds. Then these are little bao buns. So the bao has also a red bean paste, again, red, lucky color. Um, Ethan and I actually made the red bean paste. More like purple. More like purple, I guess so, yeah. But the red bean. <laughs> and then we decorated them to look like tigers because this is actually the year of the tiger. So also continuing with our red and gold theme, we have um, this little centerpiece here. So we have um, oranges. So the lucky number, what's our lucky number? Eight. Eight, right? The so unlucky number is four. Eight oranges. Mm -hmm. Eight oranges. And then what do we have in here? Gold, gold coins. Gold coins. Are these real? No. No. no they're the chocolate. Chocolate. More sweet. And there's there's red and gold for colors. Yeah. For the lucky colors. Whoops. And then this is winter melon candy. You'll also see um, sometimes red nuts or seeds on your plate. 
Um, there's a, a whole variety of things you could put in there. Um, and what did you guys get to eat? Because it's New Year's Day. What's the first thing you got to eat? Chocolate. Chocolate. Cool. chocolate. So another reason why we love this holiday, right? You can start your day with chocolate. Um, a traditional gift from um, adults to children is, it's called Lysi. So this is a, a red envelope and there's money in there. And so what we do here is we say, Gong hei ba choy. Gong hei ba choy. And then they put these under their pillow for good luck um, during the new year. I also love just pulling in things uh, from my parents and my grandparents, things that they use. So you can see that we have these red glazed dishes. These are things that my grandparents brought back from China and Hong Kong. So it's an honor to, to be able to use those. And this is actually the bamboo steamer that my grandparents had when I was growing up. So it was really um, fun to be able to use that. So we just really like to have kind of a mashup of what our ancestors did, what our uh, families before us have done, and things that we like to do to incorporate um, into, into our traditions. So Bucks County has many, many different Asian cultures here. It's been really fun uh, learning over the years and continuing to learn how every country does it a little bit differently. So hopefully you guys will be able to do that as well. Thank you for visiting us. Go hey, Choi. Go hey, Choi.